Hello everyone, greetings for the day. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are getting started with a new series of tutorials today. Uh, let me just give you a basic introduction about this particular series of tutorials and we are moving but or getting initiated with another set of tutorials on the next certification of ISTQB. The certification which we are talking about today is Agile Tester Extension which is foundation level. Now generally it is done or just after the foundation level but let me give you a better and detailed understanding on the certification before you can really start understanding the content of this. The so when you talk about ISTQB of course uh, people who have been uh, been through the foundation will be already knowing about ISTQB and uh, of course let me just quickly give you a recap of it. ISTQB stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board and generally it is a international body and certifies individuals on the testing principles and fundamentals. We have different specific certifications across the globe uh, for different professions, different practices. There are certain certifications which are specific to the domain as well and that I'll be quickly showing you in the next slide. Have a look here. So we generally have the certifications from the agile point of view, the core practices as well as the specialist. But for every other certifications, we have the foundation level certified tester as a qualifying criteria. So once you are done with your foundation level, you can move into either agile certifications. At the same time, if you also wish to take certain other specialist levels can also be taken uh, after the foundation level. If you also wish to move into the process or project specific role uh, certifications like test manager, test analyst or technical test analyst, you can also move into that. So it's all that the foundation level certification becomes the prerequisite for you to get certified. And we are talking in this series about the agile tester, which is on the left side of the uh, hierarchy or the tree of the examination which again requires the foundation level as the prerequisite. Local body conducting examinations in India, we have ITB, Indian Testing Board, and generally for each major countries, we have a local governing body to take care of the conducting examinations. For example, Malaysia, we have MTB, Malaysian Testing Board, South African Testing Board, uh, we have a Kenyan Testing Board, and many other places. It's just that some of the small countries do not have the, their local bodies. So if you are watching it, uh, the tutorial from that country, you need to visit the nearmost country which can conduct examination for you. Who can appear? Of course, anyone who has the foundation level and at the same time has a knowledge about the agile practices uh, from the day-to-day -day profile point of view could be easily uh, helpful to understand the content at the same time to appear in the examination. Generally, it happens to be that having the knowledge of Agile process would be very helpful to understand this tutorial because during this tutorial, we only try to orient you towards the syllabus of the examination, but to understand in depth, of course, you need to have some com some kind of hands-on practice. The, what's the cost? The cost generally is uniform throughout all the examinations of ISTQB. In Indian currency, it is 4780, that is INR 4780 rupees which is uh, different for different countries. So if you are appearing in any other country, you need to cross check the price at that place, which might be either equivalent or maybe more or maybe cheap as well. Validity, of course, now all the certifications of ISTQB comes with a lifetime validity. So you don't really have to worry about it. About the examinations, of course, I just told you that the prerequisite is the foundation certification, which is CTFL, Certified Tester Foundation Level. You must be you know, certified with that to appear in the uh, Agile certification uh, examination. Without that, you will not be allowed to qualify or apply for the examination. But for learning point of view, anyone is welcome to go through this tutorial. Exam type will be always objective till uh, we reach the expert level. So we always have the MCQ type, which is... Uh, you will be multiple choice questions. You will be provided with uh, four options for each question here and you will be answering the one as the right one. We do not have any negative markings still in this level as well. So do not have to worry about that. Number of questions are 40 where 40 questions each question will carry one mark each. Duration will be allocated to you as 60 minutes to answer the 40 MCQs and uh, the passing criteria remains the same. That is 65% which is 26 or more out of 40. Schedule, you can always schedule it. Generally in India, we conduct it weekly once, but if you always want your custom dates, you can always go online and take the examinations by scheduling your inter uh, the examination date. 
by going to the istqb.in or your country specific website. Location and venue will be decided by the board, that is it might be a public examination which can be conducted offline, paper based or it can be also conducted in any of the uh, centers which organize the ISTQB examinations and they will allocate it to you once you register yourself for that. So let us talk about the syllabus of the Agile Tester syllabus that is uh, Agile Tester Extension. So generally this certification is also known as Agile Tester Foundation Level or Agile Tester Extension. So it all means the same. There's only one level called as Agile Tester. So you don't have to think about anything else in the entire tree. We'll be having three chapters to cover along this entire syllabus. Chapter one is about the basics and fundamentals of Agile software development model. Chapter two is about fundamental Agile testing principles, practices, and processes. Chapter three is about Agile testing methods, techniques, and tools. It's just that three chapters doesn't mean that we do not have more content. We do have, but this is just that they have created three chapters, but we still have a lot of contents to be covered as a part of it. There will be a lot of subtopics. So in this tutorial, I'll be trying to make it as detailed as possible, breaking the subtopics as one tutorial for you so that each tutorial can be concentrated well because we have, they have a lot of subtopics in each chapter. So it's almost equivalent to like four to five chapters, but they just put it into chapter threes. So the uh, rest all remains the same. Uh, the preparation, the tutorial series will guide you through the entire examination process and help you to understand how you can clear with tips, tricks, and time management skills with sample questions, of course. Again, here also we have different K-levels so throughout the syllabus, which will generally help you to understand uh, what are the K-levels. Uh, that is, uh, the topics which are marked with K1, that means it is only limited to the definition or the meaning behind the terms which are used. K2 might be a stage or process or any such concept which requires you to understand what the process is all about or maybe the stage activities or what exactly happens in that particular process. K3 means apply where generally the topic will be taken to a different extent beyond the understanding and maybe provided to you with a simple scenario, very simple scenario, not a complicated one to ask you to apply the scenario and see that what is the outcome according to the scenario not straightforward on any particular definition or something. So that's all from the introduction point of view team. In case you have any other queries about Agile certifications from ISTQB, then you can please comment below. I'll be there to help you out with better understanding on the same and also assist you with the certification procedure. Beyond this, of course, we'll be getting into the tutorials uh, right after this tutorial. That is, this is just the introduction. So we'll be getting started with the chapter one in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. In case you are a new user to the certifications of ISTQB, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. We are going to have a lot of things detailed, understandable at this point of time to help you pass the examination. So stay tuned. Keep loading, guys. I'll be seeing you in the very first tutorial of this series. Till then, take care and happy learning.